Did you know the story of this too? We will talk about it. My name is Dr. G. Welcome to the iPodcast, a window to me perspective. I will be yours for tonight, guys, as you guys know. For those who don't know, my name is Dr. G, along with my co-host, Mr. Pat, my brother, my best friend. How's it going, my brother? It's Happy going, Easter, brother. Happy Easter to you, brother. How's your Easter going? So far, so good, man. We good. We're live. We're here to give a show. We're here. Yes, sir. Happy We're going to have fun. How's hey. yours going? No excuses. Uh, mine is going, you know, like, like we said, we're here. We're here. Let's get it. Anyway, guys, the topic for, because before we talk about Easter, guys, the, the topic goes by, um, does age gap matter in a relationship? Why and why not? Does age gap matter in a relationship? Why or why not? So before we go any further, guys, uh, happy Easter to you guys, as I said before. So, uh, Mr. Pat, what is your perception of Easter? So what do you know about Easter? What is my perception of Easter? Um, well, I mean, I can only go back of how I was raised. You know, I raised in a Christian family. You know, Easter to me was kind of like a tradition of, you know, um, I'm from the Caribbean. So like the way we celebrate Easter in a, in a Haitian house. So it's pretty much, <coughs> if you're Christian, by the way. <laughs> so it's pretty much, like, it's like a three days period. Friday, well, yeah, Friday, that's when you actually eat the fish. Mm-hmm. And Saturday, they call it uh, Saturday Holy Water. Mm-hmm. You know, you go to the to the, to the the sea, you go to the beach with your family or your friends, you go ahead and have a good time. And then Sunday is the actual Easter. Okay. You know, that's when you go to church, you know, after church, come back home, you know, have a good time with your family. So that's what Easter is for me, you know. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, as for me, uh, Easter was the zre- resurrection of Jesus Christ. But did you know the dark story of Easter? What is the dark story of Easter? <sighs> I'm curious because I don't know. You don't know? Enlighten <laughs> me, brother. Enlighten Since me. Since I was a kid, I, I've heard story, but I never believed them. But now they're making more sense to me. To be honest with you, you feel me? As of now, I heard that Easter was uh, is a celebration of pagan. It's a celebration of pagan. Pagan is like it's uh, is this is the orgy celebration. Mm. This is when people have orgies to have baby for December. Hmm. So at the end of December, like let's say, oh, you know the orgy, what it was, <laughs> creation. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's a celebration of orgies. So we want to be um. In March, the first Sunday of March, or the or the first the first Sunday of the um of the uh, uh, of the month of um April, so people have so much orgies oh like people get pregnant, and that they can give birth by December at the end of December, then they can sacrifice the baby to 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 a god named Hishtosh. That's why they celebrate Easter, and then Easter, as you as you as you guys know, so Easter when you see Easter, so there's bunnies and eggs. Bunnies, they say when they put when you put two bunnies together, so you you can. Uh, by the time you look at them, so they they already have fifty of them. So that's <laughs> bunnies are really really uh testosterone. That's testosterone really high, so they have baby really qu- quick. So that's 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 the dark story I have heard about it. So I don't know if it's true or not. But it kind of makes sense to me. So that's 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 the way. I don't I didn't know about it, but as of now, <laughs> it's making a lot of sense to me, Mister Pat. So what do you think about that, dude? Where do you get that information from? Online, man, social media. Yeah, I have multiple people talking about it. And social media. What is the source of um of that? Um, the, there's a guy who is really famous. His name is Greg. According to him, that's what he said. So he said, he stays a celebration of pig, and that's when um, people have a lot of sex, hmm. and most of them get pregnant. When they get pregnant, so at the end of December, say they 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 give birth to the baby, and that they use that baby to sacrifice, to make sacrifice for for a god named Easter. So and that's where that's where Easter come from. So is this something that that's like from the past or from something? back back in the day? Yeah. Back in the day, that's that's that that's what that's what it used to be. But as of now, people use it as a um, resurrection of Jesus Christ. But back in the day, that's 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 the main that's the main purpose of it. But what is your input on that? Like, is it something that you believe in, or is it just like 
what what is Easter to you? I know you give the dark side, right? Mm -hmm. But what is Easter to Dr. G? Easter to Dr. G is, as I said, because I grew up in a Christian family, Easter to me is a, is a uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right. But as I'm listening to stories and watching people talking, do my little research, uh, he got me curious, intrigued to do more research to know exactly what's, what, <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is Easter, to be honest. That's the way I see it, because because a lot you, as I'm yeah he he intrigued me a lot because as I'm seeing and watching all the stuff so that make I was like hmm that makes sense in a way why did they do that why did they did that why did you feel me so that give me uh, kind of intrigued me to do more research and to find out what is exactly it stays so do you agree with <laughs> so do you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, dude, because I don't know the dark side of Easter, guys, mm -hmm. so I can only go by to what I hear. I'm, I'm going to have to do my more research on that, mm -hmm. but that's pretty interesting, though. Oh. It's pretty interesting. Yes, sir. So, um, talking about Easter, a pagan celebration, so orgies, that's what they used to do, so based on the research, the low research that I did. So, PG-18, put the kids to sleep, guys. Before we go diving into put the topic. Put the kids to sleep. Yes, sir. Put the kids to sleep. Before we dive into the topic, guys, PG-18. Mr. Pat. Yes, sir. If, I said if, <laughs> disclaimer, guys, <laughs> if your partner proposed you orgy versus threesomes, why would why would you take? Which one would you take? Think think. Give <laughs> take deep, my brother. Go for it. Go ahead. Bro, why it gotta take? be about me, dog? Uh, take one. I my mean, why, no. I said why, if. Why it has to be about me? What do you mean? Why you like? Oh, if if my partner. Why it gotta be about? Because you're here, I'm talking. No, to let's you. just be general, bro. Okay, let's 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 speak generally. Yeah, generally. Yeah. If general. somebody were to pick an option, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, a threesome does not sound too bad. <laughs> talk your talk, your talk yeah. my brother. Go for it. Yeah, it does not sound too bad. You know, you know, if you out there, you know, you want to experience, you know, threesome does not sound too bad. Even the other part, like that's like freaky, freaky shit. Mm. So if you're into some freaky freaky shit, go ahead and knock yourself out. But if you want to keep a little bit PG, a little freaky, and um, you know, tweet something is not too bad as long as the person that you're with agree with. Um, but um, for myself, you know, it's I want to talk for myself. I, I want to speak for myself with that note. <laughs> um, but yeah. So since you're speaking in general, so um. When you said three sums, so three sums like three, because uh, three sums can go both ways, right? Is that what it says? So two girls, two two guys. So which way are you going? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go two girls. Two girls, okay. Well, at least if if the idea was proposing to me, it would have been, you know, two girls and and me. What about you, Doctor G? <laughs> Doctor G, which one would you pick, brother? Like you're not gonna sit there and um asking your questions. Yeah, let's I see mean, what would you pick, bro. What would I take? Um, that's a good question, to be honest. Um, yeah, it is a good question. So I, as you said, so I will take. I will go for the three sums. You feel me? Three sums will be a better choice for me. Like you said, so um, we're two girls, by the way. So, <laughs> so I will pick three sums. Why? Like you said, two OG is like um, people over people, so uh, that's not a good feeling to me. <laughs> I mean, it's basically the <laughs> almost the same thing, but that's but less that's, exactly. That's, that's some freaky so shit. So it's bro. less, it's less people in a way. That's <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, okay. So with the three sum, bro, mm -hmm. uh, would you go two guys or? Hell no. What do you mean hell no? Why you just say hell no so fast, bro? I mean, I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, if I have to pick, if I have to pick, like, okay, let's pick in general. So if somebody has to pick, I will tell them go with the two girls. Cause two girls, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so even the picking, bro, like, let's say there's, like, five girls. Mm-hmm. Five girls, I mean, only you? Just you, yeah. I mean... As it's a, a decent number. Uh, I, know, as a, I, I don't know why it's taking you too long. Like, it's a decent number. Uh, so as a guy, so let's not let's not lie to ourselves. So we will go for it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You laughing like? Okay, let me reverse the I question. I mean, too. shoot, shoot what? That's not an answer. <laughs> Not my listen, brother. bro. Listen, mm. like five. You single, whether the mango, and you out there, you doing your thing. Shit, mm. go for it, bro. Mm. Go for it. You gonna have a whole lot of fun, boy. Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, who who's out there? Like, who guys is out there? Who's ready for that? Hey, hey, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You, you know. You can't, you can't, you can't be a, you can't be a one to three either, bro. You gotta have some stamina. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. T level has to be up there. Oh hell yeah, my youngies out there. Yes, sir. Get your shit together, okay? <laughs> and, and <laughs> if this proposed to you, <laughs> so you know you can prevail. <laughs> For sure. So indeed, indeed. So um, let's dive in into the topic, guys. Um, today's topic, topic. Today's topic. Does age got murder? Why or why not? So, Mr. Pat. Yes, sir. Does age gap matter to you? Um, Why and why not? Age gap matter in a white category. Age gap, like, in general. So to, be, to be in a relationship? To be in a relationship. To get um, married, to be in a relationship. Yeah. I would say, on that note, I'm going to say it's depending on what type of person that you are, you know? Um. Age gap, you know, sometimes it's excessive. Like the age, the age gap is super excessive. So I, I would say, like at some point, like it will be matter for outsiders to look at it and see, like, yo, is this thing is sorry, is this thing is well? Mm-hmm. But yet again, it depends on the person you are in particular. Like if you have a great connection with whoever is way older than you, and you feel like hey, this is it for you, mm-hmm. hey, to which is on, man, knock yourself out. Um, but for outsider, it might look crazy. So age gap could be matter. Let's say like twenty. Well, twenty is crazy. Um, fifteen years apart. I mean, twenty still twenty. Like I don't know why I say it's crazy. Like twenty, thirty years. Some people have thirty years, bro. Mm-hmm. The age gap is thirty, 30. years. That means when you were thirty, bro, That's or OD. or this woman, whatever. This person was just born. That means like you like sixty years old and then you dating a, a thirty year old woman. Mm, that's OD, man. You know what I mean? I, there's stuff like that, bro. Like there's like literally when you were thirty, that person was just <laughs> lane date. <laughs> so based on what you just said, should there be a limit on age difference in a woman or in a woman six relationship? Uh, I mean, like I said, it depends on you as a person. You set the limit for yourself. So let me okay. You set the limit for yourself. Go ahead, go there. Yeah, you set the limit for yourself. If you're a person, you're like, you know what? I wouldn't mind date like five years. You know, ten years. I would ten years. It's fair in a way. It's mm-hmm. still excessive, but ten years is okay. If you wanna go crazy, but like fifteen years, bro. That's what it did to you. That mean when you were fifteen, that person was just born. I mean, or like twenty, like twenty years. Mm-hmm. When you were twenty, that person was just born. So, so, so you all did somebody like twenty years older than you. That would be a problem for you or not? Um, yeah, I don't think I'll think I'll. Well, I, if I will date somebody twenty years older than me, mm-hmm. yeah, that would be a problem, bro. But you said is, but especially for a guy, bro. Like you, you a guy, dude. You gonna go at? Well, actually, talking but, about that, uh-huh. I've seen something online. This kid, he's a basketball player. Mm-hmm. Don't really fully know his name. Mm-hmm. He's dating this woman. Okay, I think she's like forty, and he's like twenty one, and the, she's the, pregnant. She's the, pregnant from the woman is forty, and then yeah. the guy is twenty one. Yeah, will you do that? Uh, what will you do that? Would I do that? Yeah. I mean, she look good for a 40-year-old. 
yeah, she she get she, her shit. Her shit is together for sure. Mm. Like she gonna have to tell you she's forty. Like her shit is together for sure, bro. Um, so I can I I wouldn't mind a smash. You know what I mean? Like a smash will make sense. But settle down. Well, but settle day. down. I'm 21, settle down, and then she's 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 actually pregnant for me, bro. It, it gives me it gives me like. <laughs> What are you talking It's like, yo, you have <laughs> mad, you have, you have, you have mad experience over that kid, bro. Like, you, you, you were forty year old woman. Like, you dating a twenty one, and he's pregnant for you. Like, you, you, you've done, you've done none, none all the tricks. Okay. You know, you've lived your youngs, your youngies already. You know all the tricks, all the, you know, thing that you should do. All them, you made all the mistakes already. And this guy, he's twenty one. He's just coming up. But yet again, like I said before, f- for the outsiders as ourselves, we but, might have something to say about it. We might have maybe judge a little bit. But if he's okay with it, she's okay with it. Let them be. But would you agree with that saying that say age doesn't matter when it comes to love? Age doesn't matter Yeah. when it comes to love. Yeah. I mean, it's a saying that said like, "Oh, uh, love does not ha- well." If you love the person, age does not matter, whatever. Um, but there's a there's a limit to it, man. You know, you 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 should not be that that. There's there's an excessive age gap that's raising the red flag as of like you know side eyes like, dude, seriously, like you literally sixty years old and you're dating a twenty one. So are you talking about on this on the men's side or, or on, on I, okay so 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 let's say on the men's side or like a woman like let's say like 50 or 60 years old and 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 dating like I don't know like 25 30 years old mm-hmm. that's still excessive but yet again it's up to them if they're okay with that so they can go ahead and proceed and and have fun with whatever things they have going on because us outsider all we can do is judge and kind of like give them the side eyes so, but so, okay okay this uh, let's not talk for them so I'm talking as for you, based on your perception, so do you think it's a ma- is a problem for somebody who's like twenty to date somebody who's sixty or fifty? Based on your view, so what do you think? So what is your p- point of view about that? Based on my view, is it a problem? Mm-hmm. If they are in love and they 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 respect each other, mm-hmm. to each his own, man. You know, um. But like I said, for the outsiders, like if I'm looking at it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give them the side eyes. But yet again, I am not in their relationship. I don't know what's going on with their relationship. So who am I to actually put a say so? You know, it would always look weird, either on my eyes or anybody else's eyes. Why? You know, Why? because it's not it's not the norm, you know, to be that old and date a young person. And, so, you know, it's not the norm for a woman. But it's a norm because. Like, Cause most women looking for a guy with experience, stuff like that, with maturity, more maturity, and then that's that that's give that's that's gonna go. For when you guys. say it's not the norm for a woman, as of like a woman that's agey and then date yes. a young person, yes. yeah, that's true. So, I mean, yeah, side, you've seen you know, a lot of like older men dating some young, <laughs> some fresh people. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what? Let's yeah. just put it that way, G. Okay, go ahead. If I'm fifty years old, bro. Mm-hmm. And then, okay, let's say, like, something happened. I'm no longer with, you know, let's say, like, in the future, married or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I'm no longer with that person. Or let's say, like, the person passed. Or, you know, any scenarios can happen for for me not to be whoever that, whatever. Okay. And I'm ready to get into the dating world. Okay. Bro, I'm not getting a 50 years old sister. Same like me, son. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We can go like we can go like on the like I don't know like thirties, early thirties, or we can either go like on the early thirties or like let's say like twenty nine, twenty eight. That's not too bad. You reach the maturity level already, so like that decision will be up to you. Like if you want to do it, like for sure. So so if you have a daughter, let's say you have you have a daughter, and then. Um She's she bought a uh, forty or fifty years. She's twenty. She's still twenty years old, and she bought a fifty or forty years old guy to you. Says, "Oh, that would be my husband." So, what what would you say about that? 
Si alguien? If you have a daughter, right. she's 20, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then she but to you, a 50 or 60 years old guy who has money, who settled down mentally, physically, financially. So what would you be, what, what, what will be your answer it, for your daughter? It doesn't matter. Like if I see the age is super excessive, like I'll definitely see, have a sit what down. What age? You say super excessive. Like, Dude, like what, that's what, what I'm saying. Like 30, 30, 40 years gap. And then you want to date my young daughter? It's just like, bro, what is this? What are we doing? And I don't think like my daughter will ever, if whenever God, if God gonna bless me with a daughter, mm-hmm. I don't think she the way I will raise her. I don't think this will ever occur. But yet again, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah, you don't know. So, um, <laughs> so what about you, Doctor G? <laughs> what about you? what about you, Doctor G? So would you? What is what what age that is like more excessive to you to to date anybody? Let's say like if you're a man, what is the excessive age? And if you're a woman, what is the excessive age not to date a young person? So, I mean, it's depend on. It's depend like if if somebody is like twenty and then you forty, dude. This this, this woman has no experience at all. She yeah. don't she barely know anything. You gonna take advantage of that woman, but it could be good for the woman. Because most women looking for looking for a guy who, with more experience, with, with more maturity. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then uh, usually is a guy who's older than than that in a sense. A, a guy who's 20, 25, He barely know anything. Mm-hmm. He has to go out there and build himself in a way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But on the on the man side, on the woman side, that's okay. On the man side, <laughs> it's okay for a guy who's forty to date somebody who's. 28, 27. Yeah. Sometimes 25. Yeah. 25. 25. Even 20. I'm pretty sure yeah. you, you reached that maturity there, there level already. Like, it's up to you if you want to go for it. There you go. Because cause, um, women, when when a woman reach 30, mm-hmm. her beauty, her fertility is kind of declining in a sense. Mm. So so if, you, if you're if 30 and then you're not settled down, you're looking for... <laughs> you're not settled down yet. So it's going to be... Uh, I'm not gonna say it's bad news for you because there's always exception to the rules. But if you if you're 30 and then you're not settled down yet, that's you're in a bad situation. I don't know anyway. Though. Like if you're a woman, yes, if you're a woman, don't make them come but, for you but, now. But 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 <laughs> if you if you're a man, it doesn't matter. If you're 30, that's that's when you are reaching your maturity, right? Because 70, 80 is as okay for us. We can't give the baby, but the woman, because mo- most guys looking for women who can can give them a baby, give them a family. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But and then and then looking good. And most of the time, beauty, purity is at that age, like between 22 and 28. You know what I'm saying? Right. So for me, age gap does matter, to be honest. Because cause if you're if you, if you 40 or 50, you done, <laughs> you went to the wall. <laughs> you did basically everything, and then you're going to get somebody who's 20 to manipulate or to take advantage of. I don't think that's a good thing. But right. then again, who am I to judge? So people do whatever they want to do. So let's give you that scenario, Dr. G. Let's say since you said 40, let's say that you are 40, right? Mm-hmm. And okay, so you are single, you're 40, and you get to date a 25 years old. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's, it's a bit a little, it's it, it, it's a bit agey, like the distance wise, right? Mm-hmm. Um, would you care about society judgment? Or would you just go based on the connect connection that you have with the uh, twenty five years old? If I'm what you said, would you care about society judgment, or would you just go based on the connection that you have with the uh, with the young lady, and 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 also the connection that she has with you? With the young lady, yes. With the older lady, no. Well, I didn't say old lady. You said the young lady. Yes. Yeah. I, said, I said yes. If she's all, if so she's what's like, up with the age gap though? The age gap to me it does matter. So if a woman are older than me, so there's if you let's say I'm thirty and then the woman is sixty, what am I? I mean, I mean it's true as you said. If I'm tapping it, that's something else. But settle down in a relationship for what? Like if you because she 40, can't give you no. Ki- if you're forty and she's sixty, you said yeah. Yeah. If you, if you're thirty and then she's fifty or sixty. Bro, why would you go for that? Unless, like, you know, that's she what I'm saying. She know you's like that. There's always a catch, bro. Yeah. Like, there's always a catch. Like for a young man that is like thirty and dating like a 
a 60 or 70 years old there's a catch he's he's, he's either looking for something or yes, like taking usually you see that on the female side where the man is 80 70 60 years old and she's like 20 21 and you're like bro there's a catch there like yeah. for sure there's a catch there yeah. but um yeah it's like that man yeah the age gap to me for me is like between five and ten years yeah between five, five and ten years, years. yeah on the on the woman's side five years on the on the guy's side ten years so you take a guy the max should be ten years Two difference years. that's based on my point of view what yeah. about the woman five years mm. older than the guy that's fair yeah if she's older more than five years something yeah is five years older than the guy yeah that's fair yeah. like if she ten years older than the guy that's what are that's, we doing? that's, it. that's it. <laughs> it's gonna be like <laughs> bro what are you doing <laughs> exactly you know what i mean it's like yo there's a catch there like what yeah. is it what do you see in that woman yeah. but yet again like i said this thing on social media dude i forgot her name i should yo i should have come with the name because i saw that thing on my feed mm -hmm. um she is 40 bro the, the kid is 20 but he got shit going on for him though the guy yeah he's a he's a he's a basketball player so he's making money mm -hmm. um 40 but After you done, you done dying around, like, you know, no guys wasn't picking you up. And then you just catch a 21 years old that's probably have a fetish. Yo, one thing I want to say, too. Sometimes <laughs> it's <laughs> about <laughs> a fetish. Some guys have some fetish about old women and older women. Yeah, tap them. It's I mean, okay. there's something good. Well, sometimes you see, like... <laughs> I mean, it's good for, like, you know, you can tap that. You know what I'm saying? Of course. You can tap that at some point. Like, yeah. if a guy is tapping that at some point, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's not nothing serious. Like, exactly. I'm like, hey, man, do you, bro? And then, then as you said, there's always an exception to the world. If you need no kids, you don't want to build no family. Yeah, you, you don't want to buy. You get an older woman. Exactly. That's, like, done with hey, her go period for and all you. that and that's crap. your fetish. And then, that's your fetish. That's you what know? you've been wanted. Go for it. You're going to have Why fun. Why you going to have fun? Because yeah. you got to do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> but if you as a young man, you wanna, things. <laughs> as a young man, if you want to settle down and then you want to have a family, you wanna, you want to have kids. So um, and then you're 30, you're going to take a woman who's 50. My brother, good luck to you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's like, bro, you're going to be miserable. So like, Facts. you know, she's going to get tired of you. Tired of you. <laughs> yeah. No, tired on you. Like she's going to be tired all the time. Yeah. When you're going to be doing something, like, oh, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Exactly. I'm tired. I'm going to yeah, go to bed. Because your T-level is going to be up there. Then hers, she's declining. So when you want... Do you do you have a say-so? About, talking about the age gap. Do you mm -hmm. have a say-so about, like, let's say if you have the same age with your woman, is that a red flag as well for you? That could be a good thing. Mm. But it's always good to, as a man, to be a little bit older. Mm. You feel me? And why is that? Because women... Um, Women are more mature than guys. That's what they said. When a woman, you is, sure about that? I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> when I say when they say mature, though, like Bro. when a woman look eighteen, she some most of the time they look like 22, 30, even yeah. thirty. You feel me? They look yeah. more mature. Oh As yeah, for guy, sure. If they're eighteen, you see that's that's a kid. That's a kid. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So that and then most women looking for a guy who has who's older than them, anyways. Mm -hmm. Cause they want to, they want a guy who who has more maturity. Cause they, they I can lead them experience exactly. I mean, if so they like want him. the if they want the lead, cause some of them like they don't want the lead. That they, they mostly want to say like, oh, I don't nah, need no nah. man. Every I woman got needs it. a lead, my brother. Well, what about those that are acting like exceptions or, to or, the rules? Okay, but all every single woman need a leader. Don't get me wrong. Some of them they way they grew up mm -hmm. without a father. So they think they can do everything by themselves. But sooner or later they're gonna realize that I need somebody in my life that can lead me. Yeah, but sooner or later, sometimes it's too late. They're lost. It's too late for you to realize that, yo, I had I had it there. I had something, that's, you that, know. That's what's going on nowadays. You know what I mean? I had something good, and, and I let it slip out. Yeah, that's that's a perfect example, as you said, the basketball player. Yeah. That's a win for her, not for him. Yeah, yeah, that's a win that's for her. That's a big win for, for sure. her. That's a big win. Especially like, she probably she get been looking to, for that. Yeah, she, especially she has a chance to get a baby, to have a baby with that guy. It's like he's trapped, Yo, for he, sure. Like, he literally, like, let her trap him, for sure. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I won't do it, to be honest with you. You won't do what? Like, the guy. I was a well, she's player. only pregnant. Like, what are you going to do? I'm saying, I was not going <laughs> to. Why would you, why would you smash a woman who was, never mind. 
What would you smash your now? Say say with your chest, brother. Say with I your really, chest. There's protection, so unless as you said that it's an exception to the rule, so maybe that was. Bro, a she has experience, bro. Like I said, it might be his fetish, yeah. and yet again, she look she looks good. Then again, they're good at manipulating, so she probably trap him in a way. That's true. Yeah. A lot of time, how would you know a woman trap you, bro? Sometimes you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you don't. But how would you know? How would you know you got trapped? That's a great question, man. To be honest with you, that's a great. question. Let's say if this if this is a thing, how would you know? Like, yo, I did get trapped. Like, I got trapped, bro. Like, usually, if you love the woman, you're not gonna see that. Mm. It's most of the time, it's because you you was not. You were trying to tap it, and then she she used a game to trap you in. You feel me? Yeah. I was like, damn, I, didn't, I was not ready for that. I, that's not what I wanted to do. If she's smart enough. Okay, she, you said usually if you love her. Let's say, like, you love her, mm-hmm. and then you seeing things that you weren't used to see. Mm-hmm. Such as? Like, things. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, a lot of, you know, new like behaviors or like way of that's doing things you. and shit like that. And that's then now, you. now you're like, fuck. That's yeah. not the person that I met yeah. like three months ago, or like a year ago or five years ago. Yeah. And then that's, that's why they said like us men are babies. A woman, if she knows what she's doing, she can catch you <laughs> badly, my brother. <laughs> she can get you like this. That's but crazy. I won't say anything because most women don't know that. I don't give them no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if women knew about it, man, my brother, trust me, they can get any guys that they want because mm-hmm. most guys are not complicated we look we don't ask for much we don't ask we don't we ask really for much. don't ask for much the woman yeah. knows hey yo we really don't ask for much. it's just respect nurturing and then just just give us whatever the yeah. goodies yeah that's it that's all we ask bro that's we don't ask most for much don't know that. or like you know some guys do like feed feeding and shit some guys don't care about the feeding because they you know whatever they can't eat out, but but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So so <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, yep. So you said uh, the age gap does matter to you, or it doesn't matter. The age gap, um, like like I said, I want to keep it like open. Like I want to speak on a general term. Um, mm-hmm. yes, it could be matter for outsiders. By me look at it, yeah, I might judge a little bit. So it does matter to me looking at it when somebody is doing that. Like, say, like, like we said, like, you're like 70 years old and you're dating like a 20 something. Mm-hmm. It's like, OK, what are we doing? And I gave you the example of the woman that is like 40 years old mm-hmm. and she's dating. Well, not only dating, she's pregnant for a 21 years old basketball player. Mm-hmm. I mean, for us. The outsider is like it. It looks like a trap. Mm-hmm. It's like gotcha, <laughs> <laughs> yo. It's like you know Kanye voice. Like gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yeah, dude. Like we we gonna. I I I personally will see it that way. But yet again, it might be his fetish, and they probably really in love. And what the heck do I have to say but judge? <laughs> you know, you just I just can't judge, and that's it. Yeah. So what about you? Man, and to be honest with you, um, as you said, so he's I was about to say is they is they you know, what state both of them met each other. You feel me? Sometimes people wanna state like mentally they're somewhere and then they meet somebody in the same state as them that they collide, mm-hmm. which is make a perf- perfect couple at that time. But as I said, as as a as a guy, if she's 50 and then you're 20 you you barely know anything my brother mm-hmm. i don't want you to <laughs> for a woman to take advantage of what you don't know yeah because as a guy if you don't know anything and you need to know something so a lot of things to yeah. lead a relationship for so sure f- as a w- for a woman you don't need that much lo- to to be in a relationship as a, as a, at the end of the day especially nowadays because the women expect you to do basically everything for them yeah and uh, well, sit well there, be not cute, every cute. Uh, not every Most woman of, some of mm-hmm. them i think like they can do it you know they can do it all you know but that's like the woman that's like ready to actually have a leader and a partner mm-hmm. you know i'm not saying like just sit there don't have a voice but a but person that accept it's like 
you at a job place and you have a manager, right? Yes. Why do you have a manager? Um, you having I mean, a manager does not mean you don't know what to do. Yes, you do what to do. Yeah. Everybody, like on every, on every partnership, mm-hmm. there should be a header, but that doesn't mean we should not move as a team. As a manager, you move with your team. Like yeah. you communicate with the team. The team communicate to you. And then we're moving forward. That's what makes a success, successful team. Exactly. You know, a team a team should not have two leaders. We're gonna collapse. Yeah. We should we should be on the same page. But 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 then again, so most of the time, those women who thinks that they can do it by themselves, that's why they end up singles. Oh yeah, for they sure. Like you know, okay, for do sure. everything by myself. And yeah. They end up singles and then they end up singles. And the late fifty, they regret it. They regret it when they fifty. They're like, well, yeah, well, shit. It, it was it was so easy. Nothing get, nothing wasn't ac- nothing big was asking for you to do. Yeah, the little things I was asking was just respect and and fucking yeah respect follow, in particular. You know what I mean? Just, just you know what I mean? And then you get whatever fuck you want. Facts. But now you're fifty and no, no. But you trying to? I, I, you don't think society and, and 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 social media play a role in that oh, shit? Big goals, man. Especially. The music industry, like the mm-hmm. rap music, people telling you to do certain things, and then you, as a follower, you do, you go and do it, and then they do in the opposite. Yeah, like Beyonce, perfect example. All my single ladies, but she's married. Yeah, yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Yo, we we going out of <laughs> outside of the topic yeah. right now. But 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 the, that's crazy. But though, we like. still we still can relate it to the age gap. Yeah, we still J- can relate. Jay Z is way older than Beyonce. Yeah, so yeah. You but like, it's funny though. Like she's singing that. You know, all my single ladies, all my single ladies, and she's not. She's not. She's sending you guys to failures, bro. Yeah, and then right. she's like, "Yo, go be single." Yeah. You can do it. You will bust B. <laughs> Go do it by yourself, type thing. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want you. I make my own money, type shit. You feel facts, what I'm saying? Facts. And, and then, then, and then she has. She has, she has a, a husband. She has a husband. Yo, multiple, she's holding him tight. Multiple kids. Yeah, cause <laughs> she knows what's up. You know what I mean? You know, she's sending you guys to failures, and y'all going, yeah, 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 just following through. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes, sir. So, 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 age gap does matter to you. So, if you have a son, and then uh, would you? Would you, would you be happy if your son had it? I mean, I do have a son. I mean, yeah, your son. Let's say your son. Let's let's not take the example of your son. So mm-hmm. let's say you have a son. Okay. Let's speak generally. Mm-hmm. So you have a son, and then she said that he said that my woman is fifty years old, and this is the woman that I love. So what what advice will will you give him? I mean, the way I would raise him, like I said, even I mean, I said that before about the whole daughter thing. Like right? yes. the way I would raise her, I don't think she. You know she would be doing that, mm-hmm. but yet again you don't know. But the way I, I, I'll say the same thing: the way I would raise my, you know, son. I would raise my son. But you know, yes. quote unquote. Yes. Um. I, I don't think he will make that decision. But yet again, you know, you sometimes you raise your kids a certain way, and they. That's why I would say that P- they have their own mind. They have their own mind. You can't tell them. But you know the thing is, mm-hmm. although that your kids have their own mind. Whatever you teach, you taught them. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you know, you know the thing is, you gotta let your kids Decide. taste the water. You gotta let them put their fingers in a fire. Okay. In order for whatever lessons, whatever way you raise them, okay, to be kicked in. What do you mean by that? Though? What I mean by that is, okay, you telling it's like you telling your son, don't put your finger in a fire. Don't put your finger in a fire. Stop. Mm-hmm. You 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 spank him. Stop. Whatever. This and the third. And then he went until you're not home. Mm-hmm. Put he his does. finger on the fire. That mm-hmm. he gets burned. And guess what's gonna happen? Shit. My dad told me no. Yeah. And then I, I did it. And I did it. Mm-hmm. So Just now I'm burned. Yeah. You know. Now my fingers burn and shit like that. So like yeah. So that's your lesson. Sometimes <laughs> your kid has to. You know, learn by themselves. Learn by themselves. Learn the hard way. Like you know, my parents raised me. Mm-hmm. I think they did a decent job. Um, but know. but I've done a lot of things. They trying to. They were trying to telling me not to do. <laughs> I've done it all. I've done it all. But guess what? And it all that melt me around to be exactly the guy they probably always wanted me to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. Along the process, I made a lot of mistakes. I made I I've done things that they would not be happy about. I, 
but I've done those things. And by doing those things, I'm like, fuck. And then their, their lessons, their say so is, is catching back in my head. And I'm like, no, I should not keep, I should not keep on doing this. I should, I should do that instead. Right. So yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like the way you raise your kids, you will play a, a a major role in their life. But you definitely have to let them loose, let them go taste the water for yeah. sure. Got it. Yeah. So so um, you said you you gonna let at the end of the day you gonna tell your kids the best things the way the way you gonna raise your kids is not there are certain decisions not gonna take. So if yeah. he takes them, so he's gonna learn from them and then he's gonna learn from them and move on. Yeah, move on exactly. But at the end of the day, so age gap does matter to you. This one, what you it does. Say. Like I said, you know, for me, from the eyes of looking at it, yes, it does matter you know, at, at some point. And then what is the what is the range again? Like between what and what? So I was saying, if you're a forty year old man, mm-hmm. it wouldn't it wouldn't be too bad to date at twenty five. <laughs> Got it. Go ahead. It wouldn't be too bad, bro. Like twenty five, yeah. Mm-hmm. But for a man. But if you're a woman, you're like 40 and you're dating a 21, like I said, or 25, it's just like, it's it sounds more like a fetish to me. Where a man can also have a fetish of a young woman. But the way I'm saying like 40, let's say like if you were, if you were in a relationship before da, 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 and then, you know, you end up single as a 40 year old, you should not go for an old, older woman or like a woman the same age as you. Like there's, there, there would not be no excitement. So what do you mean by that? Like, you know, you know the way they said, you know the way they said, like it's like you're a forty year old man. Like you should get like a thirty, at least a thirty years old, or twenty nine, like or like stay oh, yeah. stay on twenty five. You know what I mean? So she will keep she will keep you young. <laughs> she will keep you. She will keep you younger. She will keep you young, bro. She will, she will keep you connected for sure. But most of the time. But like, it could be the same way for a woman too. Like, you know, you know, she might not want an old man. And she's like, you know what? I'm gonna go for a younger man that probably have a fetish as well. And be it. As you know, at that point, bro, all I'm gonna say is to each his own, bro. But then again, as a woman, as I said earlier, so most women looking for a leader for some guy who has experience. Cause 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 a woman, most of the time if, if a woman f- Met a guy who's a virgin. She's gonna look at you like you're a virgin. Yeah, I don't know. But most of the time, like if your guy find a woman who's virgin, she, he will a seventy five to eighty percent of the time. He's ready to marry that woman. Well, I'm not that guy. So you don't like a virgin woman? <laughs> <laughs> never have. <laughs> Why that? I don't know. Going up, bro. Like I, it was never. It was never a fetish for me. Like oh my god. She has to be a version. No, no, he doesn't say that. Like that was an example. Cause no, okay, regardless, uh, let me, let regardless, me, if I were to find her version, I probably would not. Like for me to break that virginity mm-hmm. of her, let's say I'm talking about like me in the past, whatever. Yes, of her when 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 I was single, like of her, I like like I. She definitely will have to actually set all my expect all. All the expectation of what I would want in a woman and shit like that. I'd be like, yo, once I take it, this is it. I'm in this forever. That's why you're scared of taking it? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, Because I respect that, bro. Yeah, I respect, yeah, like, me. I'm not just going to take it just for the hell of it. But, like, uh, I'll, this will kill me a lot. Like, th- this there will, you go. There this you go. will kill me a lot, agree with me. So that's, that's what most guy thinks, though. If they take the virginity, they hold them to get... To, to be there yeah, husband. but what about if you don't really like the person like that? If you don't really love her like that, you know, why would you take it just because you're, oh shit, she's a virgin? Why would you do that? Like, if you don't like, that's a good point though. If you don't like the woman that much. Yeah, like if, if you just wanted to just like, you know, you know, get a quickie or like just get a, you know, get a little something, something going on mm-hmm. and then you find out like she is, as a guy, why would you still take it? And then still say like, yep, she was a virgin. And I just take it, and that's it. So, like I don't know, man. It's just so weird, bro. So, but let me ask you that. So, don't you think you can learn to love somebody that you didn't love? Yeah, a, but I guy? mean, I mean, I, me personally, I, I, well, I don't operate like that. I, like I'm not. I'm not gonna now. operate as of like if I know them well. Like you're not. You're not that person. I'm not gonna say like, yo, let me just give it a try, and I'll I'll learn how to love her. Why would I do that? So you never. If you're not the one, you're not the one. 
So you trying to tell me you never met a woman that you trying to smash, but you end up you end up loving that woman. So at the end of the day, wow, that can happen. Okay, but the, it should not be the it should not be the setting goal as of like I do not but love let, her. Let, let's well, let's, okay, let's, you asked me a question, let's, brother. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that should not be your setting goal. It's like, oh, I do not love her, but let me just keep doing it. Maybe I'll end up loving her or I will end up liking her. Mm-hmm. I think that's wrong to think that way. But let, let's if let's, it if it naturally happened, like you you guys kicking it, and it naturally happened, turned into something serious, and you feel like, yo, shit, I did not expect this to get that serious. Mm-hmm. It's way better than that where if you were to already set your mind up as of like, I'm going to keep smashing or I'm going to keep doing whatever I'm doing until I end up liking her. I think that's wrong. But but let's, let's not lie to ourselves, though. Yeah. Most guys, they don't go for a relationship, though. Okay. They go for the sex. Okay. And then I, based on the woman behavior, they was like, yeah, she's a keeper. Right, let me keep her. Yeah, but, but there is the same way. So if you take it's it not the same way, G. Why is not the same? The reason why it's not the same way because let's say like if you if you the type of guys of like yo, I'm just I'm just here for the good time. I'm just here to have a good fun and and I'm I'm here for the good energy. Mm-hmm. And then come to find out the energy switches. It, it becomes as of like yo, I really I really like the person. I really I really like her. Mm-hmm. I, and on a guy perspective, like I really like her. I really wanna take this to the next level mm-hmm. if it's like that i don't see nothing wrong. actually i think that's great that way of me course. personally like the same thing could happen for but a, for a woman that you but if you just... if you if if in your mind mm-hmm. the process was just that let me just keep doing this until i love her it's just like bro come on people. what are we you, doing that's that's wasting your time why would you and in the back of your head yes let me th- let me keep doing but that. that's what you said no, no, that's not what I'm... no you said some guys mm-hmm will actually keep doing it until they end up loving no, her. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. What I did said, you say? I said, do you believe that you can end up loving somebody that you didn't love before as a guy? You can learn to love somebody, right? Especially so a woman that you took their virginity, her virginity. You feel yeah, me? we were talking about taking virginity. Like, okay, so this is what I was saying. This is what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. We're talking about virginity. I, I, I said, like, okay, if you know this person is a virgin and you know how deep do you do it, my brother, how do you? <laughs> no, okay, okay, you would know because like you get to the point as of like, oh shit, she will tell you. Usually they tell you, bro. She will tell you, and then you like, oh, she is a virgin, and then you like, okay, so let me just take it and I can learn how to love her. Like that's bullshit. Like you're a shit person. Like it, you a shit person. Like if this is what you want to do, like you know, especially I'm talking about an aversion perspective though. Like because this is this this means a lot to me. Like if she can hold it for that long, why would you take it as a fucking asshole? Like you you take it and knowing that you are not gonna be there forever, or like you know move all the way forward with her. You know you there just to have fun, and knowing that yo she told me she is, or like I find out she is. And you're like, yo, I'm just gonna take it, and I can learn how to love her during the process. You know, who would do that, P? Come on. Well, that's what you said. No, 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 I didn't say that, bro. I that's said, what you said. You said that if you met a woman who is a virgin, and if you don't like her that much, you're not gonna take it. I'm not. But I'm saying that. Can you? Do you th- do you believe that you can learn to love somebody that you didn't love before? But not on, yes, but not on that aspect. Not on the virgin aspect, bro. Because that's a risk that I'm not willing to take. I'm not willing to take the risks of like, what about I take it and I ended up not loving you? Okay, then. How many people who took their virginity? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that guy. My thing is just like, yo, if you're not that and then we kicking it and it ended up not being that, at least I don't have that guilt. guilt. Okay. I I won't have that guilt saying like, yo, Mm -hmm. I was just there for the good time. But at least, at least I would not have that guilt. Okay. But if I know that, hey, we all agree, we're kicking it, da da da, and also you're not a version, like shit, we having fun. Nothing is new under the sun. You've been doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You've been doing this. I, I, so I, shit, I, it I just didn't you work know. out. I hear you though. You just don't want to take advantage of somebody. Who's yeah, virgin. man, I'm not doing it. And I like, thought if she asks you to take a virginity, I'm not. You don't like it like that. I'm not taking. You know, it. I got a good guy. Same, same, it. same, yeah, same, yeah, same, yeah. Good guy, good guy, good guy. So, 
for sure. <laughs> Yo, who else in the chat right now that would Jerry, that would take it? Jerry, Jerry said, I will tell. I don't know what he meant by that. So Jerry, Jerry, why Jerry would you tell Jerry? <laughs> Jerry, 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 would you take it? Would you take it? Uh, I mean, if you're still in the chat, yeah. so yeah. Um, so, so, um, yes, you said you won't take it even if you don't like that woman like that. If you don't like her like that, so yeah. I mean, if I know, like you know, we just we just having a little flying, you know, and I find out you are, mm -hmm. it's not happening. I'm sorry. A good guy. Have yeah. you ever got that that opportunity? Damn, G. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let, let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic, brother. Too topic. much information. <laughs> so, 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 um, let's for just for the audience. What is your biggest? What is the biggest age gap appropriate based on your view for dating? Not in a relationship, just the, dating. The big gap of yeah. yeah. So I would say, I think you said it, and I think we 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 kind of both said it. it. Okay. Five to ten years. Five to ten years. That's appropriate. On the woman's side or the men's side? Both. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you said both. If it's the woman, five years is fair. Okay. Um, so, so so let's say. The guy could be 25 and the woman could be 30. Yeah. Okay. Still, because 30 flat, yeah. Okay. They, 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 they should give it a try for sure. Okay. But, like, the guy's 25 and the woman is, like, 35. That's, like, side eyes. <laughs> for what? Why is that, though? <laughs> is that your mom? <laughs> but, hey. But, then again, but hey, a that, quick, they, they, but they, hey, they, if they want to have fun. Yeah. No, no, it you sounds didn't say pretty that. good. But then it again, you said <laughs> you didn't say that. You said because if, bro, if they, think about it. Uh huh. You're 25. As soon as you're 30, she's 40, son. But you know what though? What? If she's taking care of herself, mm -hmm. there is a huge benefit in a woman that taking care of herself, bro. And, and a lot color? of them don't even know. Like taking okay. care of herself as far as like mentally, Physical. physically, spiritually. Okay. There is. It keeps you young. It keeps your mind fresh. It keeps your your drive is so like it, it, your but, but, energy is contagious. You feel what I'm saying? But your but, energy will be contagious. But as as a guy who wants kids, so after she reach forty, she won't be at, she won't be most women won't be able to have kids no more. Bro, I just gave you that example. That woman, she's forty and she's pregnant for twenty one years old. What are you talking That's about? Random. That's random. That's exception. Because she take care of herself. That's exception, B. Let's speak in general. Well, a exception of somebody who works for it, that doesn't make the rules. So she didn't just she didn't just get it just like that because she works for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like most female don't, <laughs> not capable, not even work for it. They're not capable of doing. <laughs> they so. don't want to. I mean, they don't want yeah, to. They I just I say it that way. They yeah, don't yeah. want Let, to. Let's most women don't want to be like that in a way. Yeah, because I mean, and I get it because. Life is tough. <laughs> that's not. Anyway, that's, that's 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 an excuse. Excuse. <laughs> excuse. Um. So so you said said that's a high. So if the woman is, if the guy is twenty five, the woman is thirty five. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not high for you. Like you not. Nah. For bro. you, that's a no no. That's crazy. That is crazy. like like thirty thirty five, and she he's twenty. Well, he's twenty five. I mean, you can kick it. You know, y'all can kick in it. You know what I mean? But, like, as far as get get things serious, it's still possible. I'm not saying it's not possible, but, like, it, it's it's weird. What about the guy, sir? Uh, 35 and 20. Yeah. <laughs> that's a double standard. That's, that's, that's double. <laughs> <it's for creative. laughs> that's, that's a double, double standard. <laughs> but, hey, I didn't make the rule. The nature did. The nature. Yo, dude, you was your. As a matter of fact. A man who's 35 will probably won't even want to go for the 25. She will go after him. She will go after him? Yeah. Okay. Especially the 25 that, that has his shit together. Mm -hmm. Bro. She will definitely go after him. Why? Oh, okay. What do you mean, why? The you woman look at, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The women are looking for more maturity. They're looking for, like, somebody that can lead them. A lot of them. Obviously, there's exceptions. Yeah, most of them. Looking most for of them looking for somebody that can, you know, lead them. Somebody that can, you know, put the f uh, foot on the ground and say, like, yo, this is what we're doing. Yeah. You know? So. All right. Anyway, guys, um, it's about time for us to close. So, in conclusion, Mr. Pat, um... The PG-18 question, so like, let's start with that. As a matter of fact, let's start with the Easter part. So you, you said Easter is a resurrection. You had a lot to say about Easter. I didn't. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, based on your view, you said it was a resurrection for, for, for Jesus Christ? Uh, yeah, 
culture wise, you know, since I I grew up in a Christian family, you know, it was it, it was that for me. Mm-hmm. So um, it's to, it's it's a, it's a good day. It's a good day to you know um, you know, remember that day. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good, guys. And as for me, I said um, this on low research that I did. So that says that pagan celebration that's why they put eggs and bunnies <laughs> so when you put two bunnies that's together, some conspiracy theory yeah, shit yeah, yeah. When, you put, <laughs> when you put two bunnies together and they they open like they, they, that's crazy though they they really really high and sexual they have a high sexual drive so they have a lot of sexual drive. so um and then there's a conspiracy as you said <laughs> story <laughs> behind it so um i'm gonna I'm keep digging to do more research to find out uh, why is that why did they do that why I didn't do that so that's why i see it and then when it comes to um pg18 you said that you were rather um in general uh-huh. somebody you were suggest somebody to take the p um the threesome instead of the rg yeah and then yeah and then you gave another example you said it's always good to have as a guy to have five well i didn't say it, yo this guy's putting words in my mouth guys <laughs> i didn't say as a guy it's always good i said like listen if you want some freaking shit Five, it's fair. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, you know, you're young. You on some freaky shit. Knock yourself out, man. Right? You wanna have fun? Let go for you it. You wanna have fun? But you know, as far as you know, relationship out there that's into that threesome is okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And not for me though, but people okay. who's out there, <laughs> people who's out there who, who wanna experience that. So. Okay, we I think it's fair. It's fair. Okay, not yeah. not not for us, but it's fair. Hi, right, Mister Pat. Yeah, 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 for Thanks. sure. And as for um, age gap, does it matter to you? Why or why not? In conclusion, the age gap, yes, it matters at some point. You know, um, I can't say for myself because I'm not looking to get into the gate age gap or being out there to look. Um, but um, as a you know, someone who could watch, look around. You know, if I see a, somebody that's like has an excessive age compared to whoever they 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 dating, you know, it gives you it gives you the vibe to give them that the sad eyes. Like, yo, what's the catch there? Like, are they really, are they really sorry? Are they really into that to, you know, be serious or like there's a catch there? So yes, age gap could be a red flag for most people that are seeing seeing it happen happening right but for the person that's actually in it i don't think anybody should have a say so because they're into it and they're having fun with it so let them have fun oh no let me ask you that you said on the, on the guy's side is 10 years on the woman's side is five years right yeah so you said like what would be appropriate to me i think for the uh for the uh, um guy five years is fair I, I think we both say the same thing and and for the for the um for the woman's 10 years okay so let's say you have um will you date if you're 25 will you date a woman who's let's say you said 30 right 10 years right uh-huh. the woman's side let's say if you if you <laughs> If you're 28, will you date a woman who's 18? Shit. Because it's 10 years, though. 28, 18. Oh, man. It looks... Oh, man. I don't so know. It's <laughs> <laughs> It does. Um, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. 18, it sounds a little weird. At least I'll do 21. 21. 28, and then she's 21. Yeah. At least we can have a drink together. Shit. We're both adult. 21. Yeah. But she's still a kid, though. What do you think about it? Well, my guy, she's 21, uh-huh. and she can go to the club or whatever. She can go to a bar. Yes. She's a grown adult. If I'm 28, she's 21. I don't think this is, there's, I don't think there's anything bad about that. But she's still innocent, though. Innocent? Bro, somebody come for this guy, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm teasing you. <laughs> some, of, some of them even know more than you. Hell I, yeah, I, I, bro. I, I was teasing you, though. <laughs> So, um, um, in conclusion, Mr. Pat, your last word. <laughs> My last word is, hey, date somebody on your level. Mm. Yeah. Date somebody on your level. And if you're not into date, shit. <laughs> if for a man perspective, do whatever you want. <laughs> do whatever you want. If you're not into dating or whatever, do whatever you want. Whatever please you, man. So, 
That's what I got, guys. And as for me, guys, um, if you're interested in dating out of your range, I will, I will suggest you to get some more, some type of experience. Like, go out there, have fun first. Because if you, you, you don't want to get a relas- into a relationship that you don't know anything and people taking advantage of you not knowing certain things. Mm-hmm. So, vice versa. For a woman, go out there, get some experience. Have some dates before you settle down in a relationship. But for a woman, if you can s- grab a guy, settle down, that's going to be better for you. Because mm. it's going to be good for you and for the guy. Because mm. he's going to be able to mold you in a way. And if this is what you're looking for, a guy that, that can provide for you at the end of it, that's what you're looking for anyway. A guy that can provide for you, a guy that can protect you, a guy that can feed you. A, a guy, guy that, that can provide if you can't yes. provide or if you, if, you, if you can't. Exactly. So if you find a guy like that, settle down, lady. But but if you want to take, have some experience, go out there, do you. <laughs> Why am I to judge you? <laughs> you feel me? Do you, my brother, my sister. So uh, as a guy, as for me, I will say that um, if you're 20 and you young did a woman who's 40, my brother, unless you know why you're doing it. You get you feel me? If you don't know why you're doing it, don't do it. Go out there, build yourself up, and then at the end of the day, you got to get whatever you want. Go Yo, older. at 20, I don't think you should be dating for a man. As a man? Yeah. As a man, if you're 20 years old, it should be there. you should, <laughs> should not be dating, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Nah. I mean, settle, you met settle down just, or, let's just or dating. Settle down and dating. You, you should keep. We should keep that for a Come next on, topic, bro. Twenty years old. Why are you dating? What are you doing? Then to get experience, to get some more experience, well, to have to have experience. Well, I mean, right? you can have friends. Oh, what do you mean? Well, what I mean, ex-friend? dating. I don't. Not, I'm not saying like for you not to be out there, like not. To, oh, to have, like, okay. I okay. mean, because da- dating. Well, you know what? Never mind. No, no, go for it. I see where you're going. Nah, never mind. Cause like usually like when you say like, oh, I was dating this person, that means you were with that person. Yeah. You actually were going out with the person and you guys were doing it. Yeah. Like if you if you weren't married that person or like let's say like get into like the whole fiance or whatever, that's like you dating the person. That's how they see it. Oh, I was dating this guy for a year or just like for two Well, maybe maybe I'm getting the whole dating thing wrong. But 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 as I heard before, some females said I'm dating two guys at the same time, three guys at the so. Well, also so dating also mean as of like I'm getting to know the person. Yeah, that doesn't mean they haven't. They they with the person. Yeah. Uh, whatever, bro. So so it's okay for a twenty. Cause 20. like, why do you date? To get to know people. No, you date to get serious, right? That's why. Not not. That's why. Not only like, to get to know the person and also to get serious with the person. That's why you date. If you get to know that person well. And then you appreciate it, you, you settle down. If you don't, based on based on what I'm Bro, if listening. you're 20, don't date. Simple. Just go with vibes. As bro. a guy or as a woman? As a guy. Go with the vibe. Whatever your your the vibe is, you go with it. You should mm. not you should not keep in mind. You should not put in your mind, yo, I'm dating. Because if you're dating, you're dating to be serious. But if let's it's say, like the same thing we're talking about. It's just yeah. like bro. But if if he's twenty and then he has a woman who is eighteen. And they grow up together. They know each other in a way. Don't you think that's beautiful? Like, t- they can't grow up together. They have some experience together. Bro, you talking some freaky <laughs> shit now, bro. Like, no, no, I'm saying like, uh, like, okay, you're 18 and then you're in high school. And then you met a guy who's 18. I think it's beautiful for the both of them to get to know each other in a way. To get I mean, there's a together. lot of high school sweetheart. Yeah. Like, we always be saying there's exceptions. <laughs> Got you. But I think it's always good to have experience. Fact. It's always as good a, to know what. It's always good to know what's out there, so you know when you have something good, so you can appreciate it. But sometimes some people have something good, they still can't appreciate what they have they until have they lose it. To, yeah. Until, until they, they keep losing, they keep losing, they keep on losing, they keep on losing, and then they're like sixty years old. It's too late. Too late now. Ay, ay, ay. So, so therefore, that's why I told a woman: if you can, if you're 21, and then you can get a guy who's financially stable, everything. Physically, spiritually stable, grab that guy and then trap him in. Wow. This guy said trap him in. Hey, that's hey, we we Oh my so god. Let's not lie. Yo, we guys are babies, man. If we get a woman who's gonna who's gonna nurture us in a way, don't give us no headache, that's what we want. Facts. You feel me? A woman knows how to do that. Hey, you're twenty one, 
and you know how to do that. Your mommy taught you well. Your mommy taught you well how to then, nurture. Uh, yes, and then, respect a guy. And then you find a good guy out there. Don't let him go. I mean, I shit. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want, I don't want it to be too late for you, my sister, to be honest. Because, because you probably think, oh, I'm, so, I'm beautiful. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a ten, so I have to have experience. But the more you, the more, the more people you meet, the more people you have some, some, some together, the more trauma you get. And then, the more trauma. And then you're always gonna think you better, you better, you going up, you going up. Next thing you know, mm-hmm. the whole neighborhood know about you. The dude. whole neighborhood. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that was our podcast. So that was our <laughs> podcast, guys. <laughs> this is the end of the show. So, our podcast is a window to new perspective. Uh, by the way, did you guys know? Did you know that people, people understanding is is, is on the level of, of of their perceptions. Like people understanding things based on the level of perceptions. Did, did you know that? Yeah, we talk about the perception is your reality. Got you, got you. Because. This you understand based, you understand things based on your reality, but sometimes people are not open minded to, to learn, learn new more. stuff, yeah. to have a new perspective. There you go. That's what they stuck to the old mindset. They stuck to the old ways. That's why their perspective can never be changed. Yeah. Oh, they stuck to only one way. They, they yeah, the way they knew about it. So yeah. So this is this is why we have our podcast, guys. Your comments matters. Your 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 call whenever you. You, you you tell us to some we learn from you you learn from us so i podcast is a window to new perspective so the same way uh, we are open we open our minds to learn things from you so yeah. we hope you we hope that you do the same that you can learn some, something new from us Facts. so this is i podcast a window to new perspective every sunday 7 p.m i podcast see you guys next sunday see you guys next sunday